Hey everybody, what is happening? East Daily East, I am back with more Madden 16 Ultimate Team content. We've got the JJ Watt and Quan Bolden released. Obviously guys, I am working nights, so I am up in the middle of the night. So uh, when you see stuff I post, that's why sometimes it is showing the guys that were the day before for you. Um, I want to look at that Bolden card before I get into the throwback stuff, though. Uh, what he won the Man of the Year award, I believe it was. No surprise to me. Uh, I've met this guy a couple times uh, up in camp. Uh, in the Cardinals camp was up in Flagstaff. He's a great guy. Um, he was one of those guys, one of the very few who was out there saying, "Hey, anybody want an autograph? Anyone want a picture for me?" Um, you know, he he made sure every single fan um, was able to meet him. You know, and, and I see him do that a couple times. So that's just a little bit that I know of the guy, man. But definitely uh, not a surprise he won that. Um, so. Let's Let's take a look at this. Look at 400,000. Let's compare him to uh, Brandon Marshall um, real quick. That's the guy I'm normally running in my number one slot. Um, Bolden maybe would be more of a two for me. As you can see, I did pick him up. There you go. Um, and take a look at the back here. See, see why I would have picked him up. Because I think a lot of people are really sleeping on this, not giving him a lot of credit because he doesn't have that huge size speed. But really, speed uh, the speed's... A little deceiving the way he can play and and height this year is not as big but okay that said he's got 90 strength um you know marshall so he's already got a lead on marshall with that that you know eight more right there uh jilly's about the same 92 speed but 96 acceleration so it's pretty much a wash there for, for, for against marshall i can't really say one's really uh, you know better than the other um Look at that. I mean, we got we're we're one off on a lot of the stats in there between catching and all that stuff. So that's that's pretty much a wash there. Uh, run block seventy five for him and seventy eight for Marshall. So they're both going to be pancaking dudes throwing it down. Uh, um, let's see, uh, two less on the jump. So uh, ninety five trucking after the catch though for Bolden. Jeez, and a ninety nine stiff arm. So I mean, it, what? better spin a 92 juke. So after the catch, this guy's going to be much better than Brandon Marshall. Um, he's not going to you know the catching traffic if it's even at 100 out there on him uh you know maybe the spec catch is about the only thing 91 for him 95 for brandon so obviously brandon's going to get a better animations especially you know jumping and one-handed all that but uh, bolden shouldn't be far behind 92 route running but he's got you know he's also got a 99 release on him uh, right there so again i mean i i thought you know i i'm really interested i'm gonna you know play him out maybe i'll get a review on him see how he works out there but all right now that said let's get into the throwback players all right, guys. I'm not sure if they took any out of the packs. Normally, I think last year they did. Like when they added some new ones, they took a couple out. So I don't know if they did or not, though. I'm sorry, I didn't do the research on that part of it. So all these guys we're seeing here, we don't want. We do not want to pull any of them. Even Buchanan down to 106. Jeez, man. And I like that card. That's that's real cheap, man. Might have to look at that. Jeez. Anybody needs a strong safety on on a, on a budget? That guy. I mean, well. It's, Still not super budget, but uh, he, he's, he is a great strong safety. Um, so these guys all dropping down a bit here. Um, but this is the guy out of the out of these that we're looking at here. The really Obviously, anybody who knows me knows that's my guy. I'm not going to pay that much for him. You know, um, <laughs> so, you know we'll, we'll see. I might have to wait a bit if I can't pull him here. Let's see. Okay, so what are the big differences here between him and CJ2K, though? So he's he's five less strength. That's not appealing, you know. Five, same size, you know, really build and all that. Uh, but he's got he's got 99 agility, which is which is really nice. You know, I have not been running the um, SRs like I normally do, so I did, I might have been a little bit lower on that. Only one more speed. That's it. So I mean, there's not really going to be a difference as far as that. But the agility you'll notice. That is something you notice when you move the guys around, though. So that is actually nice a nice boost to have. Um, and CJ is a good you know receiver out of the backfield, but um, you know even Charles is even better. Uh, one less carry that's not not ideal um let's see uh jump all that so uh you know normally blocking doesn't really big deal but cj again has got a 24 point pass block so when he's in the backfield and i'm having to in a block with him because people are running the glitches or whatever it is you definitely want cj over there uh elusiveness he's got three more nice uh ball carrier vision he's got five more you know you, it's, it's all good things if you're running between tackles um you know, better stiff, but the 98 spin, you know me, I love to spin, so six more on the spin move, two more on the juke, um, uh, so I, I do like the card, it's an upgrade, it's an upgrade over CJ, that's for sure, and especially that 98 stamina, very nice, very nice right there, and again, the route running, receiving, all better, so it's an upgrade, definitely an upgrade, 
I might have to wait a few unless I get lucky here because I don't really think I want to pay 800000 for that, though. I really, though, I, I don't think that's necessarily a, a good deal, but we'll see. So I guess I'm just in a gambling mood a lot more this year because I hadn't even done a throwback pack before. I don't even do flashbacks. It's always just such a loss of money. But hey, uh, I've been wanting that speed back uh, in a, a new one here for a while. Been even in the last video just complaining about not not having any. So I figured, you know, I've, I've got to chase this. And I also had a bunch of the uh, elite badges already prior saved up just from uh, doing those large loser quick sales that I did. Um, so you know that said, this didn't you know. Cost, cost a little bit, still got to factor in how much those are worth, but at the same time, I figured we're going to do one shot at these. I don't know, whatever happens, I don't see me chasing any more of these, really. Uh, normally, it's uh, not worth it, but let's see who we get. Come on, let's get a high-priced new one. Okay, okay, that's not horrible. That's actually a card I, I wanted to use for a long time. Um, uh, so, I, I think I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to sell the Mean Joe Green I have. I think the Mean Joe might be slightly better, a little bit better, but... Uh, I've always liked the way the Poe cards played, so I'm going to give this one a shot. So at, at that point, I'm still going to get coin out of that. Um, and then we got a seasoned veteran one here. We got new seasoned veterans, so one of the new ones of these would be great. Let's see who we get. All right, Jay Cutler, not worth a whole lot. Maybe a 30K card, something like that. Let's see. Uh, nah, he sucks. He's Jay Cutler. Let's get real. Um, I think he has good throw power. That's about it. So, and hey, man, you know what? I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's do a, two more of these. Two more of these large quick sell. Okay, okay, Are we, we're gonna regret this. <laughs> At least it's not 15 where I took a big sting on like before, man. But and one more. Hey, there we go. We end up ahead on the two. There we go. Needed some more of those last time, but uh, I got the playoffs. I'm in right now. Super Bowl's done, guys. I'm gonna get those out tomorrow. Otherwise, see you later, man.